Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the wigs I wore in May. Okay, you know, every month I do this short little video showing you 10 of the wigs I wore in the previous month. So I'm going to show you just 10 because, you know, we'd be here all day if I tried to show you every wig I wore in May. But I'm going to show you 10 of them. These are all from my personal collection. All of these wigs were either purchased with my own funds are provided for a previous review from Wig Studio One. So all the wigs you're going to see today are from Wig Studio One. Also, this is not a wig review. Again, if you follow my channel, if you've seen these every month, you know I'm not reviewing all this wig, all these wigs. I've already done all that. So I will link the in the drop down box below. I will link the video to all of these wigs to the full review, which will show you outdoor lighting cap construction, specs, everything you need to know will be in the full video that is linked in the drop down box below this one. This is just for fun. This is just to show you a few of the wigs I wore in May. Let's start off with Beltres Caliente in Root Beer Float Blonde. Now, I have Caliente in the hand tied version. I have not reviewed it yet. I have not even opened the box yet. But I do have it, and I have it in the same color. I'm going to do a comparison of the, this one is a lace front and a mono part. I'm going to do a comparison of this one in the hand tied cap. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be so fun. I love Caliente. I like, now, in my opinion, I pulled this back in a clip. And I, because I want you to see the front of this, it has a lace front, like I said. It is highlighted around the face. I like that. Now, this is just my personal opinion and what I like. I know a lot of people do not like that. I, however, do. I think it brightens your face up. I leave a little bit out, just like you can see I did here. And I don't know. I just like the look it gives you around the face. That's just my personal preference. But I think Caliente is such a nice wig. I think the shattered waves is just, they're just so pretty. They're feminine. Now, I personally do not comb through these wigs that have these beachy waves. Again, my preference. I know a lot of people comb through them, make them really soft, very, very feminine. I prefer the beachy wave. I like that. I will spray some water through this. I will just scrunch it just a little bit just to separate the, the waves with a little. Uh, you could use any kind of styling product that you want. I use water a lot of times. Sometimes I'll use sea salt spray. Just whatever you have on hand and just run through there just like I'm showing you now. Scrunch the curl just a little bit. Just separate it with your fingers just a little. And that's personally how I love to wear these wigs. This is Beltres Caliente in Root Beer Float Blonde. Okay, this is Ellen Villa Barletta High Mono in Ivory Blonde Shaded. Now this is new for 2022. I just reviewed it. This has a lace front and a full mono top on this little short wig. So fun. You can part this on either side. I like it that way. You can sweep it all to the side. You can spike it all up. There's just, with that mono top, you can just wear this any way you'd like. Now, it's getting warm down here in the south where I live. So, I have found myself really starting to pull out my short wigs. I love my longer wigs, but in this heat and humidity, <laughs> I really appreciate some shorter styles. Now, this one is part of the Modix collection. Now, if you are familiar with that, you know, Ellen Villa took elements from all of their collections and combined it into this Modix collection. And I think they did a beautiful job. I have several wigs from this collection. I find they fit well. The lace fronts are nice. The mono features are nice. Uh, so if you get a chance, be sure to check out the Modix collection from Ellen Villa. Okay, here is another new style for 2022. This is Henry Margot Katie and 2418 GR. I just reviewed this one as well. This is a nice shape on this wig. I really think so. 
not too short if you're wanting something that's not a real short pixie but yet not a long bob this might be a good place to start Really nice lace front mono part here. This color is so pretty. Um, like I said, I have a full review in outdoor lighting so you can see the color outside. Be sure, again, whatever wig review uh, that you like watching, make sure that person is showing you the color in outdoor lighting. We use these studio lights. They sometimes do, uh, tend to distort the color, blow out the color a little bit, and also it matters what cameras people use. We all use different cameras. The monitor you're watching it on can also affect the color. So I feel like your best chance of getting a really good representation of the color is in outdoor lighting so make sure um, that your favorite wig reviewer is showing you the color in outdoor lighting and like I said in the link below of this wig I will have that shown in outdoor lighting such nice Henry Margot fibers this can be worn towards the face behind the ear just a really fun summer style Wow Raquel Welch Voltage in White Mist. Now, Voltage has been around forever. I have it and I don't know how many colors. It is a tried and true, out of the box, throw on and go style. But they just have begun to offer this color, White Mist, on this style. So I was so glad when they did. If you love white hair and you love Voltage, this is your wig. Okay, this is John Renault Macy and Laguna Blonde. Now, this is part of the Nouveau collection, brand new for 2022. Basic cap construction on this. Such a cute bob. Comes down. Now, my face is nine inches from hairline to chin, and my head circumference is 21 and a quarter. So, if that can help you to see how you might think this might look on you. But this has been such a popular, popular collection for John Renault this year. It's affordable, it's a very budget friendly. This wig especially, like I said, it's just a basic cap. I like the neckline on this. I think it offers a really nice neckline. Um, it's a little bit longer, as you can see. If you have hair growing down on your neck, this might provide that coverage, just depending on how much it is. But you can get your hands in here and really get some volume going. Yes, it has permatease because, like I said, this is a basic cap. But it has a beautiful shape, I think, on this style. Really nice John Renault, this Nouveau collection. All right. Wow. One of my favorite styles, Raquel Welch Editor's Pick. I have Editor's Pick and I think seven colors. This is RL 1022 SS, which is iced cappuccino. I just don't know how you can go wrong with Editor's Pick. I really don't. You know, this has a lace front. Again, heavily highlighted around the face, something I enjoy. Beachy waves, again, just, you know, these beachy waves, I never would have thought I would have worn them. I have always worn short, short hair. If you have followed me from the beginning of my journey, you know, I lost my hair to chemo. I started with wigs. I fell in love with wigs. And I just wore really short, short pixie cuts. And then I started branching out a little. And before you know it, I'm wearing every color, every style that I can get my hands on. That's what I love about wigs. That's why I'm so passionate about wigs. It, they just offer us choices. Offer us something different. I wear a different color and a different style every day to work. I don't want to wear the same color two days in a row. I like to change it up. I love having that in my life. So I just, I just love wigs. And I think Editor's Pick is just such a beautiful, beautiful style. Another super popular style, Aesthetica Designs Jones, and this is Icy Shadow. This is perfect weekend hair for me. I think it is so fun. Throw this on with a pair of jeans and just let this be what it is. Just messy, fun, easy to wear, basic cap. I like Icy Shadow. I like it because it has this darker underneath. 
it just peeks out there which makes it of course updated and like I said this is out of the box throw this on and head out the door I think this has gotten to be such a hugely popular wig because it is so casual it is so easy it works on most face shapes so don't overlook this one if you're looking for just a fun throw on and go have a look at this style Here's another fun short style, Gabor, all the best, and the color is Mocha. This has a lace front and a mono top. I am so happy that some of these manufacturers are now making, even though this is a very short, short haircut, they're giving us that mono top. They're offering us, you know, different styling options. We might want to wear this on the other side. You can do that. You want to part it down the middle. You can do that. You want to wear this off your face. You can do that. It just offers you so much more styling options, so, so many more styling options by giving us that mono top. I really like the nape on this. As you can see, it really hugs the neck. I appreciate that in these shorter styles. This one can be worn all the way forward. You can tuck it behind your ear on both sides. Yeah, Gabor did a good job with this one. Okay, this is Ellen Villa Icon in Champagne Rooted. Now, we've seen it all. I've shown you basic caps. I've shown you lace fronts. I've shown you lace fronts with mono parts, lace fronts with full mono tops. This is a fully hand-tied cap. Now, Ellen Villa hit a home run with this one, in my opinion. I love the length. I like the layers. I like the front of this. There's just not much I don't like about it. Has a lot of movement here. Now, I I tend to, <laughs> when I get up for work, I put on whatever I'm going to wear to work that day, then I choose my hair. I like to match my hair to what I have on. This is perfect for me with this top. I love this blonde hair. I just have a pair of jeans on today. It's a super casual day, and I wanted something just kind of shaggy, kind of fun, easy to throw on, lots of movement, and this is perfect. If you haven't tried this wig, I would encourage you to have a look at Ellen Villa Icon. Let's talk about Ellen Villa Ferrara. This is in Bahama Beige Shaded. <laughs> Love this wig. I also have it in the red Vino Shaded. So pretty. Again, this is perfect with what I have on. This just kind of little boho top, this shaggy hair. The right wig can pull a whole outfit together in my opinion. It's one of my favorite things again about wearing hair. I, I love to match my color with what I've got on. It's just the best. It's the best. <laughs> Again, wigs just offer us so, so many options. This is a lace front. Just want you to see that. This is the Modix collection again. I like the layers here. This is super low density, very low density, but you can run your fingers through here, get a lot of body going on, You'll get a more natural look, uh, uh, certainly better movement by just pulling those fibers away from the cap, loosening them up a little bit. Have a look at this Ellen Villa style. I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is so much fun for me. I hope you enjoy these as well. Please leave me lots of comments if you do. Let's talk about these wigs. Tell me your favorites, which ones you have, what colors you have. Let's discuss all these fun wigs. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.